Hey, it's Greg from The Code Creative. Let's talk about scrolljacking. Possibly a term that you've heard thrown about, but what is scrolljacking exactly? Well, the term scrolljacking comes from the terms scrolling and hijacking. Sounds kind of scary, right? Well, scrolljacking can be a negative thing when it's not used in a smart way, and unfortunately, it can also create some accessibility issues. But of course, there are two sides to every story. And in my opinion, scrolljacking can lead to some really effective experiences for the end user. So first of all, I think it would help to clarify what scrolljacking isn't. You see, there's a normal scrolling behavior that users are conditioned to. The expectation is simply that when we scroll up and down, whether that be with our trackpad, our browser scroll bar, or our up and down arrows on the keyboard, the page scrolls up and down right along with us in a very synchronized, coordinated fashion. Scrolljacking, on the other hand, is anything that departs from this conventional scrolling behavior. Let's jump in right away to possibly one of the most obvious and perhaps extreme examples of the scrolljacking technique. This is where we have horizontal scrolling occurring, even when we're actually scrolling vertically up and down. Here's an example from a site called reputationsquad.com. And by the way, I'm, I'm not knocking any of these sites that I'm using in this video. I'm simply using them to illustrate these scrolljacking concepts. So what I'm doing right now is I'm scrolling my mouse wheel to the right. And as I do, you can see that things move in a horizontal fashion. Even though I'm scrolling to the right though, the normal behavior that I'm accustomed to is for the page to move downward. Now the pros of this kind of technique is that it's atypical, it's unexpected so it can provide a more artistic and a more creative type of feel. Here's another site that uses horizontal scrolling. And this example shows how it can be used effectively to create kind of a feeling of a book. Like I can imagine this being a really nice coffee table book showing the history of the Amsterdam canals as I flip through its pages. Another common scroll jacking technique is where the scroll bar is used more as a scrubber than as a scroll bar. Check out this site everylastdrop.co.uk. I'll start scrolling now, and what you can see right off the bat is that the typical scroll bar behavior is being hijacked. So it's being used more like a scrubbing playhead here. The user is basically being asked to take on the role of controller of the animation. You can see that although at certain points we do make progress down the page, most of the scrolling is actually being used to reveal the animations and to move visual elements in from the sides and so on. We can also go to Apple's AirPods Pro site to see the same type of scrolljacking technique. Here it's used in an effective way to highlight the product. For example, let me scroll down a little bit and you'll see that I eventually get to this part where I can scroll scrub these three different silicon tip sizes. And you can see that I can go backwards and I can go forwards. And this technique can help engage the customer by giving them a deeper and more interactive experience and feeling of the product. But on the other hand, I can also imagine that some users might be turned off by this kind of thing. Especially if all they really want to do is come to the site and scroll quickly to get some text info about the product and see the specifications. Another technique which can often be considered a form of scrolljacking is the famous parallax effect. Here's a simple example of it on this site called sleepiest.com. With parallax effects, you have elements on the page that are moving at different speeds and this creates an illusion of depth. A more extreme example though is here on this site sbs.com.au slash the boat and in this case it definitely does help to bring the story to life and it really adds a sense of drama. But as I scroll I also notice that the scrolling experience feels atypical. Normal scrolling is pretty tightly coupled to the up and down movement of the page but these parallax type effects can make the scrolling feel looser and, and not so tightly coupled. It sort of messes a bit with that tightly coordinated advancement up and down the page. Now, of course, there are many other scrolljacking techniques out there. Like pinning is another one that I can think of. And even changing the look and design of the scroll bar itself can be considered scrolljacking. But I'm curious if you're using any of these scrolljacking techniques on your sites. So go ahead and drop me a comment down below and let me know your thoughts. By the way, if you're interested in going further with these topics and learning how to actually use them in your own projects, I have a new course available. In the course, we dive into a concept called scrolly telling. And if you haven't heard about scrolly telling, you're definitely going to want to check it out. 
You'll find the link down below in the description and the comment section. Now, if you haven't done so yet, also subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comments down below what other topics you'd like to see covered. See you next time.